セイントセイヤ冥王ハーデス十二級編Hey, hello, Mr. Newton here. Welcome to Saint Seiya the, Her the Hades. So, Saint Seiya is another anime manga property from the 80s. It's like Dragon Ball Z. It's one of the shows that rivaled Dragon Ball in the 80s in Japan. So, I've never watched the anime and I've never read the manga. However, I did buy this game, Saint Seiya the Hades, yeah, the Hades in uh, I believe 2008 or something, 2007, on the PlayStation 2. I played a bit uh, of it with my sister back in the day. I uh, read on the cover and I thought it looked interesting, you know. I had watched a bunch of anime shows and I had read a few manga uh, series. And uh, even though I never read uh, Saint Seiya, because it was never available as a manga in Sweden. And uh, most of the anime shows weren't added in Sweden. Sweden had like Digimon, Pokemon and Sailor Moon. I don't remember any other shows from Japan. So we, we got Sailor Moon and Pokemon, but we didn't get Dragon Ball Z. But we did get the Dragon Ball Z manga. That's the first manga that I ever read. So of course I thought this show was interesting when I looked at the cover, because they were fighting and they had cool armors and looks and such, and it was an interesting title. So, so there were two games in this series on the PlayStation 2. Uh, the, I believe it's Saint, Saint Seiya the Sanctuary from uh, 2005. And then this game from 2006 actually. I might have said 7. But uh, it's from 2006. And uh, it has mostly the same characters. I believe there were like one or two characters that were cut. But then this game has more characters. Uh, new additional characters and such. So this car uh, this game has a different menu where you move up and down like this. The other one had like a menu where you scrolled to the sides instead. Uh, this game, Saint Seiya the Hades from 2006, is the better game out of the two. I um, have already uploaded a video of the other game where I didn't speak and where I let the AI fight itself. So this game is a fighting game. It also has the same uh, CPU as CPU mode as many of the other anime fighters on the PlayStation 2. So you can watch the AI fight itself. And unlike the other game, uh, the Sanctuary, this game, uh, while still keeping the, the same uh, 3D models, they have become more, uh, what should I say, shell shaded than in the previous game. But they are still 3D. They are not. Uh, fully self-shaded, like Dragon Ball or, or Naruto, for example. Uh, but in this game, the, the, the moves of the characters have been improved. So they, they move much more epic in this game. They can uh, move in ways that they didn't in, in the previous game. They can uh, like uh, float around the battlefield. And uh, the, 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 when you watch a battle in this title, it, it just looks more epic than in the previous title. In the previous title, they, they mostly stood still and then did their, their attacks and uh, normal attacks and then their super moves. Uh, in this game, they move around a lot more on the battlefield, like fly around a lot more. So it's, th this game is more intense and more interesting. Okay, we will uh, 
watched AI fight. I've never watched the show, as I said. I wanted to watch it, but I've never done it. I do have the show to available if I want to watch it, but I never bothered. I believe I watched one episode. What I can say is that it's a very big show. It has like over 200 episodes. That's why I have never bothered to get into it. But the show itself has awesome like uh, art style the art style is from the 80s and uh, they look very very detailed the characters it's, it's a much superior art style than, than the modern style they use in shows like Dragon Ball or One Piece I believe uh, in, in Saint Seiya they look similar to Dragon Ball Z from the 80s and in terms of art style and uh, it's, it's an epic show it has a lot of fights and I believe uh, characters get bloody and such. So yeah, I, I want to watch the show. I just never bothered. I don't know why, but I, I haven't watched a lot of anime as an adult. I believe the last anime I watched was uh, Yu Yu Hakusho in 2013, I believe, where I watched most of that series. But not everything. He had little else to do back then, so I took the time and watched a, a lot of episodes. In, in 2019, I believe I did go back to One Piece, a series that I have uh, been reading and uh, watching since the early 2000s, and uh, I believe I watched a few episodes there. I had uh, left off, I believe, at the uh, Flamingo arc of uh, Dress Rosa in 2014. I stopped reading the manga in 2014 during the fall. And I stopped at the Dress Rosa battle where they were fighting the Flamingo and uh, he had turned the citizens into toys and such. In um, 2019 I watched a few new episodes from that arc but then I stopped. I didn't stop because I didn't want to watch it, it just... Uh, I, I just spent too much time on uh, other stuff like modding Medieval Total Glory Kingdoms, a game for the computer, a strategy game. Uh, and uh, haven't really spent a lot of time watching anime shows but yeah I watched a few episodes of One Piece in 2019 and I believe I tried watching a few episodes in Swedish of the Pokemon anime the, the season 2 uh, uh, the season 2 Pokemon anime but uh, I didn't like it you know as a kid as a 10 year old boy in 1999 I loved Pokemon so I watched all of the first season. I never watched the second season, that's why I thought maybe I should watch a few episodes there, see if what happens, but yeah, I just didn't like it. It, it was too childish, <coughs> but it still had the same art style as the first season and the same voice actors, the Swedish actors, but that show um, stopped, I believe, after like five or ten episodes on, in, in, uh, like in season three. So, so Sweden never got uh, anything past the first few episodes in season 3. And I never watched season 2 and those episodes in season 3. But I did watch, I believe, about 10 episodes of season 2. Uh, well, uh, I, I think the quality was still about the same as the first season. It's just that uh, now when, when I'm older I didn't really like the show. Okay, uh, Saint Seiya on the other hand is a uh, show like many other shonen shows. Uh, it's uh, more major than Pokemon and uh, has a lot of fights and, uh, and uh, characters get blooded in the fights and such. So it's more teenage uh, focused than uh, kid focused, which I like. Okay, and then uh, I believe I watched um, uh, half of the series, I believe, uh, Rise of the Shield Hero, because I read a lot about that show. I, I didn't really like it. I liked the first few episodes uh, and the message they were trying to send. I believe uh, I liked the, the overall story but there were too many childish characters there that uh, took me out of the show. Okay, but uh, anyway uh, I, I tried to watch Rise of the Shield Hero in 2019. I watched a few episodes of season 2 of Pokemon that I didn't like and I watched a few episodes of One Piece. Uh, I will go back to One Piece and finish it at some point but uh, I don't know when exactly. I also watched 
Fates Day Night back in like 2013 or earlier. That's one of the last anime shows that I watched. It's really good. I was, uh, I believe, watching a few episodes of the prequel series. Then I stopped. So I, I need to go back and watch that too. Other shows that I want to watch have been like Demon Slayer and uh, and such, but uh, I have never watched it. I watched one episode. I really liked the first episode. Uh, it looks like a really good show. Okay. <clears throat> so we have a few different modes. Lightning battle. Aim to defeat all opponents as quickly as possible. Zod Zodiac holiday. New characters, toys and other items. You have collected. Eternal battle. Fight for as long as your life lasts. As it's a survival mode. <coughs> Select any character and battle through a series of enemies. Okay, that's probably the VS mode. 1000 days of war. Take on a friend or the computer in challenge mode. Or maybe this is the, the VS mode. The Hades. Enjoy the blazing battles of the bronze saints in this storm mode. I don't want to spoil the story. I have never watched the show or read the manga, so I want to save the story for when I watch the actual anime. So this is one of the anime shows that I really want to watch. I have never bothered watching because I spent too much time on Medieval 2 and other stuff. I have watched a few real life shows like The Flash or Vikings, The Last Kingdom, The Boys, but I've never bothered to watch much anime the last few years. Okay, we will um, start we will pick the 1000 days war. <coughs> Yeah, this is the VS mode. I just need to remember how I how, how I would um, how do I change stuff so they will be CPU controlled because I don't want to control the character myself. Okay, I select on both triangle and A. And I deselect on circle, do nothing on square, nothing on start, nothing on select. Okay. Ah, I needed to click on the try uh, circle button, the back button, to, to reach this menu. I will go to the convescom mode. It was more difficult to find in this version. So a bunch of characters. We have um, Pegasus Sel Seiya, the main character in his basic form. And we have Dragon Shiryu, one of the other, I believe, protagonists. We have uh, Cygnus Hyoga, Hyoga, another protagonist. You will have to excuse my poor pronunciation of the names. We have Andromeda Shan, I believe he's a good guy too. We have Phoenix Ike, another good guy I think. We have Pegasus Seiya, an updated version of Seiya. We have Dragon Surio, another version of this guy. And we have Cygnus Hyoga, probably a stronger version of all those characters. We have Andromeda Shan again. We have Phoenix Ike. So there are two versions of those guys. Then we have Pegasus Seiya again, third version. Dragon Shiryu. Third version, Signus Yoga, a third version, and Andromeda Shan, third version, Phoenix Icky, he looks very different here, but he's the same character as the other guy, the blue guy. We have uh, Sagittarius Seiya, okay, so this is the fourth version of Seiya, he looks stronger. We have uh, uh, Libra Shiryu, and uh, Aquarius Yoga and uh, Aris Mew. This is a new character. So the other characters had four different versions. So what I know about this show is that it takes place in an al alternate Greece. So like Athens is their capital, I believe. They live like in, in Greece and they represent like the goddess Athena, I believe. She's a character in the, in the show. And these guys, the warriors here, they fight for Athena, uh, I believe. They are her 
knights. <coughs> so it's uh, inspired by Greek mythology uh, and such, but I don't know much about the story. Just that they fight for the Greek goddess Athena. Okay, we have Taurus Aldebaran. He looks like a good guy too. Big guy. We have Gemini Gemini. Okay, this guy. We have Cancer Mephisto, probably an evil guy. We have Leo Aeolia. Leo Aeolia. Okay. Virgo Shaka. Libra Doko. Scorpio Milo. Sagittarius Alolus. And uh, Capricorn Shura. Aquarius Camus. And uh, Pisces Aphrodite. And Gemini Saga. He looked evil. Okay, and Gemino Cannon. Lyra Orpheus. So most of the characters are men, by the way. Uh, we have uh, Eagle Marin. First female character. Then we have Ophiuchus Sena, second female character. I believe in later games they even have Athena and some others playable, but in this game they only have two females. In the first game, the Sanctuary, they had a third female character, but I looked up that character while she wasn't in, the, in this game, and it would seem that she isn't a female, she is a man actually, with female looks, and uh, in the first game they did make her a female in the English version of the game or the American version of the game but in the second game they decided to cut her altogether probably because they received the critique that she wasn't a female okay so that's why the, the third female is not in this game because she wasn't actually a female she was a man okay but the other two are still here okay <coughs> Aris Ryan Another new character. He's a man. Uh, many of the men in this anime show look like women when you look at their art. They have long hair, they have female, feminine faces. I believe in the 80s there were a lot of long haired men too. But anyway, they, they look very feminine faces. We have Cancer Mephisto, another version. Piscus Aphrodite, another version. Capricorn Shura, all of these with the purple armor, I believe, are rivals to the heroes. They are not good, if I, if I were to guess. They are probably the main antagonists of this arc. Aquarius Camus, Gemini Saga, even Radamantis. He looked really cool, the evil guy, probably. I would guess he's evil. Okay, Garuda Ayakos. Griffin Minus, so they have like Greek Roman names. And I'm not very good at uh, pronouncing those names. Okay, we'll start with Pegasus, Seiya, and uh, the enemy. I think uh, we will not use the heroes versus the heroes. So we'll skip these guys. Uh, they look good, we want to pick them. But I think Gemini Gemini looked kinda evil. Um, Cancer Mephisto. Harris Moon. Uh, I think maybe from this guy they are bad guys. We'll pick Gemini Gemini against Pegasus Seiya. I think the, the evil guy is stronger. The reason is because he has a golden armor. I think the golden armor makes him stronger than, than what Saint Seiya has in his first form. Uh, the last person of Seiya had the golden armor too, so maybe he will lose this battle. We'll see. He'll pick this stage before Ares Palace. Ares, that's like Ares. War of, God of War. Ares. Ares. Okay. This game is more impressive visually. They have more impressive moves and such. Uh, it's more fun to watch this than to watch the first game. They have also been kind of more shell shaded here. They look better than in the first game. But they are still 3D models.
Let's see who will win. Saint Seiya, main character of the Or Gemini. With the golden armor. I believe they are called Saints. And based on the armor, they are called like gold saints and uh, such. So I believe the armor of the characters, they, uh, the armor gives them different abilities. The golden armor should make uh, Gemini stronger than Seiya. They have uh, more minigames here. They do their special attacks, you need to press certain buttons and such. So they can't just spam them as easily. If you fail the button mashing, they will fail at doing their special attack. They also move around way more on the battlefield, which I like. It's less, it's less stale. More visually pleasing when they fly around like that. Or glide around, it looks like they are gliding. Almost, almost like if they are on an ice. Still kept the Tina <coughs> uh, thing when they fall down. Uh, so Gemini is also fighting for a Tina, and he's not necessarily a bad guy. He looked kind of like a bad guy, so that's why I picked him as an opponent. I don't know anything about this show except that they are fighting for a Tina. And they're called uh, saints, gold saints and such, silver saints, gold saints, whatever, diamond saints, I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, an interesting show from the 80s in Japan, interesting anime show, very very beautifully drawn, has the same style as Dragon Ball Z in terms of uh, how detailed the uh, and it was drawn. And shows in the 80s used to look better. They had uh, way more detail. Everything from the details on the, the character clothes to, to like their expressions and such. So yeah, that show is certainly one show I would recommend if you like Shonen anime. I haven't watched it myself, I watched one episode, but it was enough to see how, how great the art style is. It has a superb quality. Unique to 80s rows and 90s rows. Yeah, the fights look way more impressive in this game compared to the previous game. First I were disappointed that they removed the best looking female, but then I realized she wasn't a female, so that then I understood why they removed her for him. Because they didn't want uh, a character in the game, because it caused probably controver controversy. Okay. The characters have some cool moves in this game. Sadly, most of the characters are men. There are very few female characters. But in later games, even Athena herself is fighting. So, <coughs> in the later games, you have more females. In in the early games, you have almost no females at all. Yeah, it, it's a cool fighter. They actually bought in the store and such. Uh, because it looked cool, the cover. I like other property like One Piece, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z. So I thought this would be good too. And it looked good for a PlayStation 2 game. Of course the 3D models do not look as good as cel-shaded models, but they look better here than in the previous game. It's like they've been painted, or the 
trade models. Okay, so this guy won. I thought so. He had the golden armor. It's better than the silver armor or whatever the other guy had. Say I had. Let's change the fighter. So Pegasus say I lost. We have Dragon Furio. Okay, he will fight uh, Tans and Mephisto. And they will fight in Ares Palace or the Palace of Ares, God of War. Tans and Mephisto versus Dragon Furio. Fist, we have Angry Dragon. So it's in, uh, it's in Japanese language. Very well, I love us to settle that old score now. Okay, I believe maybe I could change the language to English. That might be wrong. Maybe it was in French and or Japanese. I prefer Japanese over French. I also like the music of the game. Nice listening to Epic. It has cool animations for a PS2 title. Of course, it doesn't look as good as the Dragon Ball games. That's because they decided to use uh, 3D models like in Budokai 1 instead of cell shaded. I believe in later Saint Freya games they use cell shaded. For example, one game on the PlayStation Portable has awesome cell shaded graphics. I'm sure to play that one too at some point. In that game you can play as Tina. They didn't include uh, they didn't include the CPU with CPU battles there, so you can't watch the CPU fight the CPU. Probably because they thought that uh, with the small screen of a PlayStation Portable or PSP that uh, no one would want to watch it. Which is a shame because it had really good uh, mechanics. It's a completely different game compared to this one. It's still a fighting game, but it plays completely different. It's more like a traditional fighter. I say it's more like Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, but Saint Seiya instead. Okay, this guy won. Dragon Furio. Won against Cancer Mephisto. Okay. We'll change fighter. Okay, Cygnus Hyoga reminds me of Hyoga Neji, or Neji Hyoga of Naruto. Okay, he will fight Leo Aeolia. Aeolia, okay. He will fight on the Gemini Palace. In the Gemini Palace. Okay, Cygnus Hyoga versus. Leo Aeolia. Okay. Are you ready to be defeated by my eyes? There is nothing more to say. Ready. Burn. So instead of fight, they say burn in this game. Yeah, this is an interesting throw. It's a big throw, over 200 episodes as I said. It will take a long time to watch, every episode is 10 minutes long. So it, it went on for many seasons, many years. And there are a bunch of uh, new throws set in the same universe. So I believe in total probably over 400 episodes. The original show from the 80s is like 170-190 episodes. That's why I never bothered to watch more of it. Because it would take so long to watch everything. Even that other show, Yu Yu Hakusho, has like uh, over 100 episodes. Or 90 episodes. I watched maybe 60. I finished uh, the main arcs. But the, the show wasn't as good in the when I stopped. They they, they defeated a big bad guy. 
and, and after that I lost interest. But uh, I believe I watched until the climax of the most popular arc and then I just didn't watch anymore. Because the show wasn't as good after that arc. That's a good show too, it's very similar to Dragon Ball, it felt like a worse copy of Dragon Ball to be honest. Just with different characters and different skills and such, it, different abilities of the characters. But one of the characters there, Heal, looked exactly like Vegeta and has probably his road. Yeah, Yu Yu is a good show, but I prefer Dragon Ball Z of course. This one is more unique, it's not a copy. You actually felt like a copy of Dragon Ball Z with some differences. Oh. So in this game, Athena acts as a, as a, like a, a goddess convincing the, the, the saint to continue to fight when they are about to lose consciousness. She, she is like in their heads, uh, spurring them to fight on and not give up. That's the case in the first game too. But I thought that the scenes with the Tina were better made in the first game, in the, in the Century game. If she had a 3D model instead of just a picture, I believe. Otherwise it's the same. Since Yoga will lose this against Iolia, now he's doing one of his special moves. He's called the Swan. He moves like a swan. So the characters in this show are very feminine. Like uh, they are very chivalrous. French knight styled. They are like Vega and Street Fighter. Feminine looking, chivalrous and uh, such. Knight types. Fighting for the lady, Tina, the lady goddess. He will lose. Fail to get up. His feet. Oh, yoga won. Okay. Full and collected. Okay, yeah, I thought these games would be cool to have a look at and watch the computer fight, but I decided to skip the first game. I did one video where I just showed up off all the characters and such. I had them fight once each character, but. Now nah, we, we, we I decided to use this game because it looked better and it's the later game. There were no point wasting time with the first game, especially not when <coughs> when I haven't watched the show, so I do not have any connection to these characters. I watched one episode, so that's about it. <laughs> so that's not enough to know a lot about the, the story and so Okay we have Andromeda Shan. You will fight uh, Virgo Shaka in the Virgo Palace. It failed. Alright. <coughs> Andromeda Shan versus Virgo Shaka. If you have to fight, then I won't hold back. My face is your requiem. Go to the world of the dead in peace. Ready, burn. Oh, so that guy Andromeda is using shades when he fights. I always enjoy the CPU vs CPU mode in fighting games on the PlayStation 2. I also enjoyed it in Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64. That's the first game that I used 
that type of mode in. Just watch the, the, the characters be controlled by the AI and fight each other. And I had a tired of playing myself. I wanted to see who was the strongest or such. Now I just, I just think uh, it's entertaining to watch once or twice. And I kind of wanted the videos of my YouTube channel. Others enjoy that too. Also, I, I suck at fighting games most of the time, so so I will never be as good as the AI or computer. And then it's on its highest difficulty. That's why I enjoy seeing them do their best attacks and such, play like professionals. You know, it's like watching professional players watch the AI very hard. Dragon Ball Z, Tank H, 3 and 2, I believe I could do pretty well, but I'm still nowhere near a professional. The only fighting game that I were actually feeling like a professional uh, must have been Super Smash Brothers for, uh, for this Nintendo 64, where I were really good with Link back in the day. To defeat the uh, three AI players on level 9, the highest difficulty uh, alone. Link could also defeat three human players if they were uh, uh, like uh, casual players. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't have uh, had a chance against professional players. Uh, but, but they were still good enough to defeat the AI on the highest difficulty, one versus three, and defeat three casual players. Okay, then they played all against me, then I played Link, but Link was also the most powerful character in, in the first game. He was nerfed in the later games, I believe. He just had the best moves. I believe in the second game, uh, Ness and Mewtwo are the strongest characters, but neither of them were in the first game. Uh, Ness was in the first game take that back, he was there, but I thought Link was better for sure. If you master Ness, he is really cool, but he is difficult to master, I believe. Link was easy to master. Like, Link had the best basic attacks, while Ness had the best uh, uh, moves if you were a professional player. If you mastered his attacks, he was almost impossible to throw out to me. Well, Link just had the best combos, he could easily like, hit the enemy from any direction. He was just OP. Alright, they are still fighting here. Looks really artistic, even this game. Say it, say yeah. Like Shun is losing, Andromeda Shun. Need to keep track of who is winning here, otherwise, we will have a problem. And then uh, picking the next fighters on round 2 if I don't remember who won. Okay, so this guy is doing attack there. In this game they have these mini games to prevent uh, ultimate move spams. I believe in the first game they used to spam the ultimate all the time and there were no mini game in between. So, so the, the ultimate moves always succeeded. Oh, Andromeda Sun lo lost the match. Okay, this guy won. Okay, Gold Saint. Yeah, she should be stronger, I believe. I don't know if the game... Uh, yeah, I thought it had got some stuck or something, but it didn't, okay. So we have a huge selection of characters, but far too few women. Okay, we have Phoenix Icky here. We'll pick him, and then we will pick... Uh, Libra Doko is his uh, opponent. The stage will be Twin Silas Garden. Ok, 
Okay, Phoenix Ike versus Libra Doko. Burn up in the flames of hell. This is the secret art of Tina. It's a Peter Manas. Ready, burn. Okay. So that Ike guy has like flames as his weapon. I don't know anything about their skills. I don't remember much of the first episode. I will need to rewatch it and then watch the entire show. All I remember is that uh, it had some epic fights, similar to Dragon Ball Z, and uh, that uh, the art style was really, really gorgeous. Much better than modern shows, even more than Japanese shows. Okay, they look pale in comparison. You think hand drawn anime looks way better, especially in the 80s. Okay. Doko, Doko. He rose up again. The fight continues. That other uh, it's the same guy Ikki, so he has flames and a phoenix he attacks with. He's like phoenix guy. Ikki, Ikki! Okay. Rose up again. Fight continues. Let's see who will win this. Seems uh, Ikki is leading. I think he will win against Doko. Both of them have uh, strong attacks. Right. Come on, then. Never. Oh, Licky won. So yeah, in this game they nerfed the special attacks, which I think is good. Doku, Doku, do not give up. <coughs> you are not beaten yet. Doku, Doku. Now we failed to get up. Was defeated. Ha, so this is your mighty power. Okay. Change fighter. Icky one. Okay, then we have the new Pegasus Seiya. If the other Seiya was defeated, we will let this Seiya fight. He will fight against Scorpion Milo. The Palace of Athena. Alright, Pegasus Seiya versus Scorpion Milo. So he has the same name as the other one, but it's a different version of Pegasus Seiya. They probably have different moves. Now flare up, my Cosmo. Your luck just ran out. <coughs> yeah, I think Milo should have the upper hand. He has the golden armor. They look kind of cool when they... Uh, like... Uh, they move around like that. We didn't do that in the first game. First game they stood mostly still and moved very slowly. This game is a clear improvement in terms of gameplay. 
Add graphics. This is the second game for the PlayStation 2 out of two games. We have no more in this series on the PlayStation 2. The problem with the PlayStation Portable title is that well, it had way better graphics than this game. Entirely cell faded, played like Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Didn't have the watch mode, so I couldn't watch the, the computer fight itself. So I will have to play it myself. If I'm gonna do a video there, I will probably do it at one point. Because it's a gorgeous game for the PlayStation Portable. But uh, it sucked that it didn't have the CPU vs CPU mode. Because that's the mode I would have wanted to use when doing a video. Just like if I do this video with the CPU vs CPU mode, I don't really want to play it myself. I want to watch the AI fight and uh, yeah. see who wins just for fun. And check out their moves and how the gameplay works and such. I believe the PlayStation 3 titles do have the CPU, the CPU mode too. And maybe even the PlayStation 4 titles, but not the PlayStation Port for some reason. Okay, Milo, Milo. Yeah, he, he rose up. The battle continues. I think uh, Milo will win this fight. You'll see. <coughs> Compared to the Dragon Ball C games, I believe that this game certainly do look better than Bunker 1. But compared to the other games, cell shaded graphics look way better. Just that the 3D models look more outdated and less, uh, should we say, modern than the cell shaded ones. They never get old. But these models look like they have been painted over. It's the same models as in the first game, but with, uh, they have been made to look more cell shaded than in the first game. They look more 3D in the first game, but they are still the same 3D models. But I believe they have painted over them, so they, they look better here, but still not as good as purely cell shaded graphics, of course. That's why the PSP title looks so much better than this game in terms of models. But without the CPU vs CPU mode, you couldn't really do a video like this there. So, this game is still better in the sense it has the CPU vs yes, CPU mode. Also the system, yeah, how you fight and such, how you play, is totally different in this game. This might be better in terms of gameplay, or it might not, depending on taste. But I don't know about the PlayStation 3 titles, if they are more close to this one or the PSP title, probably the PSP title. I think they are like the PSP title. But on the PlayStation 3 I have one game. No, I have two games set in Saint Seiya for the PlayStation 3. But one of them is an action beat them up that I bought because it was cheap. I will probably never play it. And the other game is a fighting game. Like uh, the PSP title, I believe, with more characters and uh, better graphics. And it has the CPU vs CPU mode, so you'll certainly play it at some point. But because I can stream the PlayStation 3 on the computer and record, I did that with the Valkyria Chronicles first episode before I bought the PC game. But I haven't opened the actual, uh, actual game, so I will need to, <coughs> need to do that. Probably. Unless I should sell it instead, because it could be worth something, because it's not been open. And, uh, yeah. Either I will sell it in, in a new sealed 
format or or I will open it and play it and we will watch computer play there too. We'll have way better graphics than this. Okay, this guy won. Saint say or Pegasus say I lost the fight. Okay. So say is his name. And he's called the Pegasus because he's like He's like, uh, I believe he represents the Pegasus. I, I don't exactly know for sure. But I think that's his, like, what he's called, the Pegasus. And Seiya is his uh, name. And then Saint Seiya, that's just uh, um, adhering to the fact that he is a saint, like all the others. Okay, we have Dragon Furio. He won the fight. Same with. Uh, I think he won the fight, Hyoga won, Romida Shan, I think, lost, I don't know for sure, we'll just skip these characters. And uh, go immediately to Riba, Libra Sirio. Okay, Libra Sirio. Tarisaya. Various yoga. Ah, uh, that's still loose, guys. Aris I will take Aris He's a different character. He will fight Sagittarius, Iolos. So that's. That will pick him, the opponent. On the Hades Castle, it's a stage. Right, Aris Mu versus Sagittarius Iolos. Okay. The Greek names are very difficult for me to pronounce. Hey, I won't hold back. <coughs> Look away for a second, I dare you. In that instant, my cosmos shall finish you. Ready. Burn. This guy, Iolos, has wings actually. Look pretty cool. It's a bow too. Crystal wall. Oh, it's very even this battle. This fight. First game, that's new for this game, it looks really good. I think this game is way more exciting to watch. That's why I skipped the other title. Oh, that guy is down. The new guy. He rose up again. He will continue to fight, he's leading. Iolos will probably lose this fight. His health bar is almost depleted. Yeah, this game looked really good for, for using 3D models. But unfortunately, 3D just looks outdated. Well, the, the cell shaded graphics, they, they never look bad even like like uh, 
15 years later. Alright. Maybe it's down. Stand up. Do not give up. Oh, he lost. That guy won. The arrow of Sagittarius has struck you down. So Sagittarius, that's like a Greek or Roman word. I believe um, Bowman in Rome um, was called Sagittarius. I, I don't know for sure. I think so. Okay. Then it's Taurus Aldebaran. Big guy. This uh, is Capricorn Fura. Okay. They'll fight in the Hades world. Hades world. Taurus Aldebaran versus Capricorn Fura. Fight! I shall cleave you and your fate in two with a single stroke. Ready. Burn. That guy seems pretty strong. The Aldebaran guy, he's good. He had a friendly face. The other guy seems evil. The guy with the horn. Shura guy. He seems strong too. I like the cinematics of this game. I believe this game is more cinematically pleasing than the later games. It won't have as much uh, focus on the cinematics during the fights. This one is more artistic to watch, I believe. Even if the graphics are worse. I wish it had cell shaded graphics like the later game the PSP. It would have been awesome if it had the, the graphics of the PSP and also the, the mouth smooth on, on that PSP title and, and they blink with their eyes. It's like the Dragon Ball titles in graphics uh, on the PlayStation 2. That's why I think the Dragon Ball titles should have had moving maps and blinking eyes too. They didn't need to remove it because both the Bleach game and the Sensei game have that. If I'm not mistaken, I uh, could be mistaken when it comes to Bleach. Bleach uh, has a really, really great fighting game on the PlayStation Portable. It has like 7, and the 7th game is so fucking good, but unfortunately there is no uh, AI versus AI mode, or computer versus computer. So uh, that game too, uh, I will have to play myself if I want to play it. There is no watch mode. Frame. Because it has like all the characters in it. There are many fighter games, fighting games that use the CPU vs CPU mode or AI vs AI mode. But then there are a bunch that didn't have it too. like mini games like this when you have to press buttons. Be faster than the AI to win or to pull off their super attacks. Prefer when they do super attacks without needing to do mini games. That also enables the players to use spam super attacks like in the first game. That's why they implement 
recommend to lose uh, mini games to prevent spam. If you fail the mini game, the ultimate attack will fail, and uh, you won't be able to pull it off completely. So it's a way of nerfing the player. Uh, so when you fight other players, you can't just spam the ultimate attacks all the time. Because the, the other player might win the minigame and then the ultimate attack will fail. But against the computer it's better if there are no minigames like that. So you can just use the ultimate attack and do not need to do the minigames. Maybe this guy Aldebaran will lose now. Do not give up! You're still alive, are you not? Oh, he lost. He didn't get up in time. I hate big walkers. Right, so that guy won. Now we're at the same guys that we've already seen. Now we'll just go back to the first character. Blue Pegasus say a loss. I don't remember if Dragon Fury won or lost. I thought, I believe, uh, this guy won against Pegasus. Say, yeah. Cancer Mephisto. I don't remember if he won or not. Okay. I believe Gemini, Gemini won against Seiya. And uh, Cancer Mephisto or Dragon Furio. I sometimes I can't remember who won. I know that Yoga won. So we'll let them fight. But maybe not. Dragon Furio, I feel like he won the battle. I uh, we will take Dragon Furio. We'll fight in the Yudeka, but on the Yudeka battlefield. Game Gemini versus Dragon Furio. I'll blast you into another dimension. No one stands against the ultimate feasts of the free and the shield. No one stands against the ultimate feasts and the shield. This stage has nice music, I like it. The fighting game is very unique, move in a very different way compared to other fighting games. It's different in terms of how you play. It looks very different. It has some same tropes. Use some rising dragon. Looks like they are very even. Lose this fight. Yeah, he lost. He won't be able to get up. Furio! Furio! Oh, he did get up. Thought he wouldn't be able to do that because his health bar was depleted. He, he, he restored all his health when he got up. So it's possible to do that. Got like another chance at fighting. His entire health bar was restored. I didn't know that was possible, so if you can uh, rise up, you restore your health bar, and I believe uh, it's possible to rise up by pressing a button or something. Could be wrong. I 
remember playing this game versus my sister once or twice, but I, I don't remember really how, how things worked in detail. I just played a few fights, I repeated some characters and fought it out, so, so I don't really know all the gameplay mechanics and such. The reason I bought the game was because I thought it looked cool on the cover. And I liked other anime fighters, so it made sense. This anime, Saint Seiya, is one of these anime shows from the 80s that I have never watched, but that I really want to watch. I will probably watch at some point. Feels like I have missed out on something. <coughs> it's a classic anime. Gemini, Gemini! But it's not uh, without blood and such, it's really uh, well done. I shall crush you. Another dimension. Those the fights are really detailed. In, in the in if you compare for example the first uh, 100 one piece anime episodes, then in most fights you had like steel pictures. Yeah, they didn't even move. The only difference uh, compared to the manga was that you hear them speak and you had colors, but they didn't really move much. Only the most important parts were animated. Well, in Saint Seiya and Dragon Ball Z, you have like every single fight in detail where they move around and such. So, so they were kind of cheap in one piece where they didn't uh, really spend enough money on animating every single fight. Instead you have like still pictures of Luffy doing his special attack, for example an attack where he blows away a few goons uh, is just a still picture with sound, while well, in Sensei and Dragon Ball Z you have the actual fight in full epic motion, so they, they did a way better job in the 80s than in, in the early 2000s in my opinion, but uh, the, the most important parts in One Piece are of course fully animated or, or made into an anime, but a uh, lot of the smaller unimportant fights are not properly like drawn or animated, they, they do not draw anime anymore, they use uh, computers, but I mean in this show and in Dragon Ball Z you have like the, the fights in full detail, uh, where they have hand drawn everything, it looks epic. Well, in one piece they were uh, cheap and didn't even make them move and instead showed a bunch of pictures. So yeah, I prefer the 80s shows and wish one piece had been made in the 80s, it would have been better. Okay, I mean if, if the anime was aired in the 80s instead of in the early 2000s, it would have looked way better. Okay. So, Cancer Mephisto, I don't remember if he actually won or not. I believe Dragon Fury lost the fight. We will let Gemini fight against uh, Mephisto 2 just in case. We'll do that, I don't remember if he won or not. Weeping Hole will be the stage. <coughs> okay, Gemini Gemini versus uh, Cancer Mephisto. So Mephisto, that's the boss in Act 3 in Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. So when I hear the name Mephisto, I always think of the boss in Act 3 of Diablo 2. It's a demonic name. I shall send you to the world of the dead. So he is uh, a 
an evil guy for sure. Looks similar to Vegeta in terms of his hairstyle. Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. The main rival of Son Goku. Since Dragon Ball Z. This game had really cool cinematics. If the models had been better, it would have been epic. They're good for the PlayStation 2, but look dated by today's standards. I'm using the PCSX2 emulator here. I'm uh, playing on the computer using 1920 1080p HD resolution and the uh, games on the PlayStation 2 are three times the resolution and graphical quality of the like uh, uh, vanilla like uh, graphics of the PlayStation 2. Gemini, Gemini, he rose up again, that's a lot of health. Yeah, they are really visually pleasing these fights. I love how they move like that. They're much better looking than in the first game. I don't like the mini games. Uh, that attack reminded me of Tension Hans, Dudon Pa attack, which is also using the finger. Tie and the American release Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Gemini, Gemini. Okay, he rose up again. Restored health. Now he must be defeated, hopefully. Mephisto! Mephisto, uh, it was Mephisto this time, but he also rose up and restored his health. So when they rise up, they get their health restored and can fight more. They get a new try at winning the fight. It's like they were defeated, but thanks to Athena, they with some of their health and managed to get up on their feet to continue the fight. Lost, it lost. I shall crush you. Then we have the mini game. Another dimension! like mini games like that but I understand that they are there for balance because otherwise spamming ultimate attacks uh, would be commonplace for players. Mephisto! Mephisto! Yeah, 
this game is really visually pleasing to watch the CPU and CPU mode similar to Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 and 2 they are also very visually pleasing then watch the AI fight this one is more grounded, they fight on the ground I think Eiji is more in the air they fight in the air more than on the ground okay Gemini, Gemini he's down, he might not be able to rise up this time you're still alive, are you not? ah, he won't rise up this time he's had like 3 times he has already risen up he lost the fight cancer me fist won this would never have happened if you had not challenged me. Okay, so that guy won. Change fighter. Know that Yoga won his fight, so we'll let him fight this time. Signus Yoga Swan. And against him we will have Leo Iolia. stage will be for Ares Palace the first stage, we're back at the beginning of the stages Sinus Yoga versus Liu Aeolia a different Liu Aeolia I believe are you ready to be defeated by my eyes? <coughs> there is nothing more to say Impressive game for its time, an impressive fighting game, very visually pleasing, aesthetic, artistically pleasing to the eye. It's way better than some of the other fighting games. Toss is using a CPU, a CPU mode. There are some that look really boring. For example, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai 1, 2, and 3 look really boring when using the CPU, a CPU mode. It didn't work well there. Still used it a lot, but <coughs> they just don't move as cinematically. Pleasing. They, they uh, almost just stand still and use punches. Sometimes their moves. They they do not move around as much as in this game. It's not not uh, it's not as uh, intense. This one used this more pleasing to watch. Yoga, Yoga. So he got up on his feet. Aeolia is almost defeated. He probably will also get up soon. Because he's almost defeated otherwise. Dan Aeolia, Aeolia, he got up, as suspected. He restored his health, Yoga is almost down again. Aeolia should have that hand, the golden armor and such. That's just the weakest version of Yoga. So I think Yoga will lose the fight. We'll see. Is down again. Yoga, yoga. Stand up. You won't 
succeed. We are not beaten yet. No, he will be defeated. Yoga. Yoga. No, he lost. My feasts are like lightning, you cannot defeat them. This guy won. Okay. Change fighter. Signus Yoga lost. Andromeda Shan with the chains. I don't remember if he was defeated. Here, one, two, three, four. See who was the fourth enemy. One, two, three, four. Ah, Virgo Shack. I believe Virgo won that battle. Fuck, I clicked the wrong button. I need to go back. Okay, Phoenix Icky. See, who did he fight? One, two, three, four, five. Phoenix Icky. Fought Libra Doko. I think uh, Phoenix Icky won. But I could be wrong, of course. Andromeda, I, I believe um, the guy with the long blonde hair won that fight, that's for sure. Track a guy. Yeah, he won against the other guy, and then Doko. Don't remember if he lost or won. Mm, to be honest, but uh, I think Icky was the one that won. I could be wrong, of course. There are more than one version of Icky, so anyway, we will pick Icky as the opponent. And uh, we'll choose Ares Palace as the stage. Alright. <coughs> Virgo Shraka versus Phoenix Icky. So he's called Phoenix. Other guy. Well, well, you do seem to have grown up a little. You may practically be a god, but I have seen hell itself. This music is really nice. Ready, burn. So the music is different based on the stage we select. You can't really pick the songs. Just like in the early Gurta games where, where they were set on each stage. So if you want this music we need to play on this stage. That's one thing I liked about the Tengichi in the 2 and 3 games. They allow you to pick the music on each stage. So it's annoying when you can't uh, pick the music. This music is really nice. Epic.
really intense fights in this game. I knew I wanted to do videos with the AI or computer. So I watched a few battles. They also knew that I wanted to play the, the this game. Hades. 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 Over the first game. Because it looked so much better. And they rode around and such. The first game was way more stale. The only thing I liked more in the first game was that they didn't have the mini games, if I remember correctly. So, so they could spam the special attacks and they wouldn't be interrupted by any mini games. It also had that uh, male character that looked like a female. But the 3D model looked way worse than the actual art of the character. She, she was blonde on the art, but uh, had like orange or brown hair in the, in the 3D model. Okay, but it's a guy, so I don't care much. Um, but yeah, as long as I thought it was a female, because in the game it was a female. Um, it had a female name, I believe, and a female voice actor and such. It made him into a girl. Though. But anyway, uh, she didn't look as good as 3D model as she did on the art. They did a poor job of uh, making the 3D model. It didn't look as good as the actual art of the character. Here it looked more accurate to the art. But it's still not per picture perfect, of course. But it's more accurate than in the first game. The colors and such. Ah, uh, Icky lost the battle. Flowers bloom, the, then wither, stars glitter, then fade. Okay. Change fighter. Go, go. Scorpio Milo. Don't even remember if he won or not. Pegasus Seiya, Dragon Furio. I think maybe. Pegasus Seiya vs. Scorby. We'll pick these guys anyway. Gemini Palace. Okay, Scorpio Milo versus Pegasus Seiya, second form. I think he won. Your luck just ran out. <coughs> as long as my Cosmo burns, I shall fight. But that Seiya looked way darker. So when Seiya is at the player 2 spot, he has a dark armor. When he's at the player 1 spot, he has a lighter armor. It looked more evil here. The dark look. Like he's fighting for haters or something. Out of death, I believe. Seiya! Seiya! Or the God of the Underworld. That Seiya is better than the first one. It's more powerful attacks. Okay, 
Faya seems to be losing. Got another mini game. Then the attack continues. Oh, Faya lost. Maybe he can get up on his feet. Let's we'll see. Oh, he rose up. He restored some health. Without the Tina throwing up. Really intense battles and fights. He's down. Maybe he can get up. Say ya! Say ya! By the way, that Tina looks darker. So, yeah, there's the player 2 version of Saint Seiya. Or Pegasus Seiya looked like an evil character. And the Tina looked dark too. Like a corrupted version of Seiya. Corrupted version of Athena. Down. Milo, Milo. Today, normal Latina has white dress and purple hair. But the, the other one is like dark hair and uh, dark dress. So yeah, I think it's an evil version of Seiya. An evil version of Latina. Seiya is down again. So black dress and the dark. Provine uh, red almost. Is that all you can do? Get up! If you don't wish to become food for the damned, fight! Yeah, that's like the uh, an evil person. He lost the battle. I decide, surrender or die. Change fighter. Paris Aeolos. Leave he won't. We'll pick him. We can skip these guys. And Libra Shrio. Paris Yoga. Paris Moon. Paris Alderburn. Gemini, it's Mephisto, Eva, Aeolia, Virgo Shaka, Libra Doko, Scorpio Milo, Tartarius Aeolus, Capricorn Shura, Aquarius Camus, okay. Capricorn Shura, Lihivon. We'll fight with him here in the Virgo Palace. Sagittarius Aeolus versus Capricorn Fura. Your Cosmo remains as strong as it ever was. Your Cosmo remains as strong as it ever was. I am not asking to be forgiven. Now is the time to fight. Female characters, I don't know how that is possible. This ammo. 
miss missing some of the characters, we'll have to check that. They should also fight once or twice. very reminiscent of Dragon Ball in terms of, of epic battles, the art style of the show and uh, the music of course looks similar. Uh, some similar I mean epicness. Especially the music in this on this stage. It sounds very Dragon Ball uh, style. style. Okay, Aeolus, Aeolus! Yeah, this, this song is very... This music is very reminiscent of Dragon Ball. Let's see. Shura, Shura! I don't know if they are di directly taken from the anime or not. They are good. My holy blade! Excalibur! Ah, so that guy has Excalibur. Legendary sword of King Arthur. Hand dragon. Camelot, you win! My holy sword is proof of my loyalty to Athena. So I missed that some text there. Okay, uh, change fighter. Confura, various camas, pieces of a diet. I don't think we have done these characters to be honest. Um, so we did that, um, Aquarius Camus, I kind of remember doing him too, he will fight the uh, Pisces, Pisces, uh, Pisces, Pisces Aphrodite, okay, Aphrodite is the god of uh, love, I believe, he represents her, I see, Twin Salas Garden, Goddess of love, not the god. She's a goddess. Okay, just like a Tina. Okay. So each god is represented by a saint, warrior. I shall freeze your soul right to the soul. Justice is always accompanied by beauty. Maybe she's the goddess of beauty or goddess of love. I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was love. I missed out on some characters. Let's see. Different clones of the others. Different skills. Camus and Aphrodite. Uh, might have done Camus. Certainly not Aphrodite. Both of them are men, of course, fighting for their goddesses, their gods. Yeah. 
I'm in dust. It's the same attack as Shriva in Final Fantasy VII. Oh, he won. Aphrodite was defeated. Okay. But must be cool at all times during battle. <coughs> Fuck, I clicked rematch. That wasn't intended. We have to exit. New character. Okay. Then we will move straight to Gemini Saga. Evil looking guy. He will fight Gemini Cannon. And I will need to pause the game here. At the recording here, I mean. We'll continue. But I need to do some personal business. See you soon. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, let's continue. We'll fight Gemini Saga versus Gemini Cannon. We will fight in the Palace of Athena. Fail to become gods, what foolish brothers we are. They are brothers, these guys. I missed the other guys' text. Ready, burn. I was adjusting my microphone, then that text showed, so I forgot to read it. See the stars shattering. <coughs> okay, Galaxian explosion. <laughs> ha! I'll give you another shot. Saga lost. We have Lyra Orpheus. I dedicate this requiem to, you, to your soul. Then we have the first female character, Eagle Marin. Here I come. Okay, we will fight in the Hades Castle. Vera Orpheus versus Eagle Marin. No one can escape my melody. Come then, boy, try me. The models look less uh, anime style. First game. Here they have painted over the 3D models, they look more accurate to the anime. You can still see that they are using the same models, but still look outdated. But it is a visual improvement for the first one. All the characters look better. Female fighters, they are bronze saints. They are not. Uh, yeah, they are called the bronze saints. They are not the strongest, the silver saints, the gold saints, I believe. Whatever the, the Hades guys are. 
Music in this yes, on the stage was also good, I think. So I like the music in this stage. I need to adjust the microphone. It was too far away from the man. Alright, Marin was down. Marin! Marin! She rose up again. Restored the, her entire health bar. Well, Orpheus is almost down again for a second time. Down. Maybe he will rise uh, right up. Orpheus. Orpheus. Nah, he won't rise up this time. You're still alive, are you not? Oh, he 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 might. You are not beaten yet. No, he failed. I was defeated. And Eagle Marion won. Remember the rake of the eagle. Whatever. I didn't read that entire text in time. Okay, change fighter. Could try to pick Eagle Marin here and see what they would look like. If they were alternate. If they had their alternate looks. Let's start the battle. Switch out uh, Eagle Marin for player 1 instead of player 2. The other guy, Orpheus, for player 2 instead of player 1. Same stage. Okay, Eagle Marin versus Lyra Orpheus. He might exit this battle. Just wanted to see if she has an alternate look. You came to practice with me too, didn't you? Let the sweet intoxication carry you off to sleep. Ah, uh, she looks the same. So not all characters have alternate skins. Like Seiya. Let's just go back to the character selection screen. <coughs> then we have uh, Ophiuchers. Ophiuchers, Seina. Very difficult name to spell out or pronounce. P Ophiuchus, Ophiuchus, Reina. Okay. Versus uh, Aris, Ryan. Okay. They will fight in the Hades world. Hades world. Fiusius Shreina versus Aris Shrine. Fiusius. Fiusius. Yeah. Don't underestimate me, okay? She is also one of the bronze saints. You fool, I am a survivor of the sanctuary, you cannot beat me. I think 
she should be pretty good. The females in Saint Seiya in this game and in the first game they look very 80s in how they are dressed and such. Seiya certainly has some similarities to Dragon Ball Z in terms of how they do their attacks and how the attacks look and such. It's some alterations. Thunderclaw! <coughs> right, she managed to do her special move. And he's down. Rise up again. Fight much better than you would. Okay. That's the only female fighters in this game. Then we have another Cancer Mephisto, another Riches Aphrodite, another Capricorn Shura. Like the evil guys, the evil versions. Various Camus, Gemini Saga, Vivan Radamantis. That's a new character we will take a look at. And then we have Garuda Ayakos. We'll also take a look at two new characters. And we have Stage Eureka that we will pick for their fight. Alright, Wyvern, Radamantis versus Garuda Ayakos. I alone am enough to rule the world of the dead. Garuda, Lord of the Sky, slashed down the Wyvern's wings. Two evil characters that look really cool. Yeah, two of the best looking characters in the game. More badass looking, certainly the evil guys. This orc, Saint, Saint Seiya the Hades. Garuda Flap! Here the mini game again, and the special move continues. I'll see you back here in three seconds. These two guys weren't in the first game. They are new to this game for sure. Most of the Hades, char uh, Hades characters weren't in the first game. Right. 
right. New special attack. In the game. Slow, so slow. Garuda, flap! See you back here in three seconds. And he won, I believe. Heh, <laughs> Galaxy of Illusions now has you. Alright, this guy won. So I believe uh, that Garuda Ayakos won. Okay, then we have Griffin minus. And then we're back at the start. Okay. Could let. Uh, this guy fight one of the females, Eagle Marin, I think. On the stage of the Weeping Wall. Right, Griffin Minus versus Eagle Marin. What will it be? An arm or a leg? You decide. Come then, boy. Try me. Ready. Burn. Ah, uh, this is music again. Really good. Music. Dark guys are really strong. I suspect Marin will lose. We'll see. Down. Maybe she'll be able to rise up. Marin! Marin! Yeah, she restored her health too. That took a lot of damage. That beam attack. Now that guy is down. Minus. My minus. How's it? Said Minas. That enemy at least. I've avoided playing Sincea games in their story mode because I don't want to spoil the story of the show. 
I want to watch the show first. The same reason I haven't watched, uh, I mean, played the story mode of any Yu Yu Hakusho. No, I, I sorry, wrong anime. I meant any Yo Yo Bizarre Adventure. Yo Yo Bizarre Adventure. Yo Yo Bizarre Adventure, sorry. Uh, story mode either. I have another fighting game set in the Yo Yo Bizarre Adventure world. And I didn't want to play the story mode there either. I haven't opened the game. Just like it's in Seiya PS3 title. Yo Yo's Bizarre Adventure has a similar fighting game like in Naruto Storm, uh, in a storm for the PlayStation 3 that, uh, that has been recently remastered for the PlayStation 4, where they also added more content like new characters and such. I have the PlayStation 3 version and uh, I haven't even opened it because I didn't want to spoil the story mode before watching the show that I wanted to watch years ago. Like back in 2013, 2014. I was gonna watch this show and that show in 2013. And 2014. But uh, I only ended up watching like one season of Yo Yo's Bizarre Adventure and one episode of this show. Yeah, those games have uh, CPU with CPU as well. And better graphics than this. The games are from 2013 and such. Well, this game was from 2006, so it's obviously older. Alright, this was a very even battle, but Marin seems to be winning. Unless this guy can rise up. Minus! Minus! If you don't wish to become food for the damned, fight! You will fail. What are you doing? Nah, he lost. Eagle Marin won. Surprisingly. Is that it? Come on, you can do better. Okay, we need the other girl to fight another battle. The other girl, Fiyukus, Fiyukus, Trena. Okay. We can fight Garuda Ayakos. They'll fight. I think. Um, I can't remember what stage is had good music. We can uh, pick before Aris Palace. Okay, Fayukus Shrena versus Garuda Ayakos. <coughs> this looks like it might be fun. You shall regret ever having raised your hand against me. Ready? Burn. I won't continue, it's too difficult to keep in my head who won and such. Uh, <coughs> if I want to do such a video, an extinction video where we fight until one is the sole winner of everything, then uh, I need to probably uh, write the names of whoever wins, otherwise I won't be able to keep the winners in my head. Yeah, we have watched all the characters in the game gameplay. Yeah, this is a cool fighting game from 2006 for the PlayStation 2. 
based on the Saint Seiya anime and manga. The 80s. Japan. And it looked way better than the first game and I recommend this game of the first game. It has all the same characters except that female character that bear a male actually. Lore. That's probably why it was removed. Okay. It has new characters too that we aren't in the first game. The graphics are vastly improved and the gameplay too. Except the mini games. Okay. But yeah, they move around more. It's more intense compared to the first game. The fact they've painted the 3D models make this one look better. Okay, so. Um, that girl is down, Shreena. She managed to rise up again to continue the fight. See who will win this battle. Shreena versus Ayakos. Ayakos! Ayakos! But he rolls up. He's ready to continue the fight. He has restored his health. His health bar. Alright. Shreina is down. She lost the fight. No. Tina might be able to convince her to rise up again. Shreina! Shreina! You are not beaten yet. Do not give up! Trena! Trena! No, she was defeated. <laughs> ha! The Galaxy of Illusions now has you. Okay, we will watch one more fight between the two girls. I want to see who is stronger. Okay, Eagle Marin versus Trena. Fayuka's Trena. Okay. We'll change the stage to Aris Palace. <coughs> Eagle Marin versus Fayuka's Trena. <coughs> Come then, boy, try me. Ah, she says boy to, to that girl too. This looks like it might be fun. <coughs> so she said boy to her too. Yeah. Burn. Ah, this is the stage with the great music. The epic music. Paris Palace. this game they do not fly, but they glide around instead. Glide, glide around on the ground. Very visually pleasing fighting game to watch. 
Shayna, Shayna. <coughs> Hero is up again. Continue to fight. Okay. I guess uh, Eagle Marin will be in the fight. We will see. Thunderclaw. Okay, she did her ultimate move. Eagle Marin. This game has nicer visuals than some of the more modern games. How it, it's just how it was made. Marin, Marin. It was made in a more visually pleasing way. More cinematic way. The more modern games might have better models, better backgrounds, better gameplay. But they have uh, less cinematic uh, visuals, I believe. The ultimate attacks are still cinematic, but not the rest of the battles. Oh, Eagle Marin won, as I thought. Feels. You win, yes. Okay. Maybe we should. Try Eagle Marin versus the main Se Seiya character. Sagittarius Seiya. The same stage because I like that music. Just want to see the strongest version of the main character, Seiya. Fight. Okay, Eagle Marin versus Sagittarius Seiya. <coughs> Hey, uh, you've been skipping your training, haven't you? Ah, so she's like a teacher. I always allow me to use this cloak. Ready. Burn. Say yes, please, say Next game I will watch will most likely be Inuyasha Fetal Combat, another anime I have never finished. I was gonna watch it too, just like this one and you use Bizarre Adventure. But uh, only watch like one episode here as well. I read a lot of the anime one and a half manga too, and it's made by the same artist. Inuyasha is the better comic I believe. For those who love Shonen. Okay. That game is a fighting game just like this one. Just with a different style. Entirely different style. 3D fighter. Where you move around a lot. Team Lutonard and in a stone but different. It's not the best fighter but it looks kinda cool and it has the CPU best CPU mode. We'll look it look it next. Believe. Then we have you, you, uh, you have to show that also the CPU is but It's not as visually pleasing. It's based on an anime that we have uh, watched more than half of. So at least I know more about the, the anime. But it's been years. It's been nine years since I watched it. So back in 2013. And I haven't constantly been keeping up with it, so I don't remember a lot of the story. I remember the characters, but not uh, much of the story. It's 
except that they are beating one bad guy after the other, of course, just make it drag for. Special move. Sagittarius Seiya. He's down. She defeated Sagittarius Seiya. He didn't even get the chance to rise up again. Pew. Right. And here is where I will end this video. So I'm a Swedish guy adopted to Sweden from Brazil back in like the 90s, 1990 actually. Okay, so I'm not the best at speaking English, but I will do my best. Okay, it's my second language. Thank you for watching.